This uh, video is for Robert and Emily Doyle. You know, this kind of serves you right because you lied in court and committed perjury. You didn't realize, I know regulations, and federal regulation says that anytime you've made a deal with regards to a child, you cannot adopt them. It's not valid. You said in front of the turnkeys, and I have it on audio tape, that, and so does the courthouse, that um, you were going to give me Tiara back. So um, any, any ad adoption that you think you have is not valid according to federal regulations. On top of that, Robbie, you committed perjury, both you and Emily. You lied to the people at the courthouse about having a childhood relationship with me that would have granted you access to my daughter. And then on top of that, you spent nights over at the foster people's house. That's not normal, Robbie. I'm going to be demanding charges be pressed on you and Emily for kidnapping my daughter through the courts. On top of that, you, um, I just have to tell you that, you know, most states don't honor Michigan's court orders regarding that type of thing, just so we're on the same page. So I would assume that because you did that fraudulently, that my cust, my original custody agreement and, um, and, and um, uh, 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 custody and, um, and child support agreement that I had with Ronald with regards to the court stands, which means because it's the original court order. So anything after that, that was obtained illegally, you're not allowed to profit from. So that means that Tiara belongs to me. And you're in hot water because you knew that. You also knew that she was um, wrongfully removed instead of taking Ronald because of that court order. So you're in hot water. You know, it's real sad. I'm, you know, I'm sorry Marie died and you're hungry for money. Because, you know, that everybody said that's the only reason you even communicated with uh, your mom was because of the money. And, you know, she loved you to death, Robbie. If she was here today, none of this would have ever happened. She would have not allowed you to do this. You should be so ashamed, especially to call yourself a pastor and a churchgoer. Dude, really? And then to lie in court like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. God bless America. Have a blessed day.